ladies and gentlemen today we are going to discuss about reading comprehension part 2 those who have not watched my previous videos on reading comprehension you are requested to watch my previous videos of reading comprehension part 1 if you watch then you can easily understand the part second reading comprehension in context means sometimes they ask you the question regarding the vocabulary in a passage when there is a passage and uh, underlined words are some words you do not know the meaning they want to ask you so there are some hints we have to hunt them down what could be the meaning of the word let's understand vocabulary in context how to hunt down the meaning of a word by using the clues around it what is vocabulary in context let's break it into two parts vocabulary words in your textbooks plus in context how those words relate to the words around them a final calculation better vocabulary skills which better comprehension which better grades so if your vocabulary is good your comprehension will be better and if your comprehension will be better definitely your grasp would be the best so these all skills are interrelated let's move forward how does vocabulary in context works you follow the clues most writers leave context clues if they write. It is a job as a reader to hunt them down. Now context clues. There are four main types of context clues. Which are they? Let's see. The four types number one rewording the word number two giving its synonyms number three giving its antonyms number four giving us details about the word now these four skills we have to keep in our mind when we attempt any passage rewording synonyms antonyms and details about the word let's discuss what is rewording context clues rewording we have to understand what does it mean rewording is when the author says the word in another way that is typically easier to understand let's look at example resentment a feeling of bitterness and anger is often felt by people who are passed over for permission. What does the word resentment mean in this sentence? Try to guess it. The meaning is hidden over there, means there is a clue. We have to understand this sentence. Let's see. Context clues rewording. Let's look at this sentence a little more closely for clues. Like this one. Again. Resentment, a feeling of bitterness and anger is often. So here 
If you wanted to find the meaning of the word resentment, the clue is right here. A feeling of bitterness and anger. So definitely resentment is a feeling of bitterness and anger. Let's see, it's your turn. Context clue C wording. Now you give it a try. The Cruz family moved from their dilapidated house that was old and run down into a brand new home. What does the word dilapidated mean here? Again, in rewording, the context clues are often hidden between the commas. But it's not always, it's not necessary always. Let's see. The Cruz family moved from their dilapidated house that was old and run down. Again, dilapidated means old and run down. So did you find the context clues? Hmm. Let's move to the next part. That is the context clues. Synonyms. A writer sometimes uses synonyms, context clues to help with hard words. A synonym context clue is one or more are two words that mean almost the same and the one that the author does not expect us to know. Let's do the practice. Let's look at an example. The young girl was very aloof. She always seemed unsociable, unapproachable and uninterested. What does the word aloof mean? In this sentence, hint is there. Find a hint and uh, uh, come to the conclusion what could be the meaning. Aloof. Again, we have to work harder and harder. Did you find? Did you notice any clues? My viewers, clue is there in a sentence. Again check, the young girl was very aloof. She always seemed unsociable, unapproachable and uninterested. Our context clues is here. Now definitely a person who is not in touch with the people, very much unsocial, unapproachable and uninterested, what could be the meaning then? Aloof could be meaning as a solitude, maybe alone. The young girl was very aloof. She always seemed unsociable, unapproachable and uninterested. All three of these words, hmm, yes, they give the just only hint. The aloof mean could be like this one. Now this is only the hint. The right word you have to keep in your mind. What could be the meaning? Because uh, in test they give you the four options. And when they give the four options, you have to take the correct one. Now you give it a try. The three brothers began to altercate over the game. This was not the first time that they had a dispute over it. What does the word altercate mean here? Yes, my viewers, find a meaning. Phenomenon context clues are often hidden in surrounded sentences. Let's see. The three brothers began to altercate over the game. This was not the first time that they had a dispute over it. Did you find any context clues? Altercate means same as dispute. So here could be the hint of it. And dispute could be another. Synonyms could be. Fight could also be. 
in a sentence they give you the clue to understand what could be the meaning of it let's move to the number third skill number third skill is called the antonyms writers using antonym context clues when they use a word with opposite meaning to give us hints about the word that they didn't they don't think we will know let's see let's look at an example dina appeared to be a very moral and upstanding young lady but those who knew her knew that she was incautious again what does the word incautious mean in this sentence we have to read the sentence thoroughly try to understand it meaning is hidden over there again diana appeared to be a very moral and upstanding young lady but those who knew her knew that she was in cuteness let's see antonyms can clues often take a little more detective word to understand yes this is the way you have to find the clues let's go and find those clues again i told you antonym context clues often take a little more detective work to understand it Diana appeared to be a very moral and upstanding young lady, but those who knew her knew that she was incurious. Did you find any clue? Yes, but is a clue. It means whatever the sentence has been used before the word but, the opposite is there. Means if there in the first sentence before but, if moral and upstanding young lady, so definitely the lady will not be moral and upstanding. The word but tells that the two parts of the sentence represent the opposite points of view about Dina. So you can guess a person who is not moral, who is not upstanding, what could be? Maybe the writer may not tell you the meaning as it is, but you have to guess. They may, the writer may give you the hint. So here, but is a hint. again so the two opposite points of view are that dina is moral and upstanding that is she is incurious so moral and upstanding incurious so definitely therefore means the opposite of the moral and upstanding incurious must mean evil or the immoral so here upstanding could be the evil opposite and moral opposite would be immoral this is called the context clues antonyms let's move to number 4 the last one now uh, again you have to try it let's you uh, this is your um, try my viewers david was very outstanding as opposed to his quite older sister What does the word "koi" mean here? Again, hint. In terms, context clues always have hint words to tell us that to tell us that there are opposite represent. So, what could be the meaning? David was outstanding as opposed to his koi older sister. Where is the clue? Yes my viewers did you find it now check whether your answer is correct or not did you find the hint words yes we found it as opposed to now these three words give you the indication the quai must mean the opposite of outgoing
So here could be the koi could be shy. Now let's move to the last part of uh, reading comprehension vocabulary in context. That is the details. A writer is using details as context clues when they give us explanation or examples as hints about the word that they don't think we will know. So details could be in different way. Let's see. There are several different kinds of context clues that are details. Let's see. Details that are examples of the unknown word. Details that tell why the unknown word has taken place. Details that explain how the word relates to the other things the author has started. So uh, whenever any question comes of the detail, three things you have to keep in your mind. Writer wanted to tell you with examples to understand the word. They may, not they may not tell you the right meaning, the exact meaning of the word, but they give the examples so that you should come to, to the real meaning of the word. They may ask you why this word has been uh, taken. And they may use some related words, related words so that you can easily understand what could be the meaning of it. Let's do some practice. Let's look at an example. Father was ecstatic because Joshua decided to go to the college that he wanted him to. Two, what does the word aesthetic mean in this sentence? Maybe the word would be new for you. But try to understand whether in detail it is the examples given, reason is given, or you think that some related words have been used. Again read the sentence. Father was aesthetic. Because Joshua decided to go to the college that he wanted him to. Context clues. Let's find those context clues. Yes, my viewers, let's find it. Again, read the sentence. I give you one minute to think over it. Father was astray because Joshua decided to go to the college that he wanted him to. What could be the meaning? We are just only giving the hint. Try to come with the meaning of the word. Let's understand it. There is a special word in the sentence that hints at the presence of a detail. Father was aesthetic because Joshua decided to go to the college. Now here the word because is there. The word because tells that the writer is about to say why father was aesthetic. So, aesthetic uh, must mean the same as happy, maybe excited. These two words could be the meaning of the aesthetic here. So, the best writers give you the clue in the sentence to understand what could be the meaning of it. But what we have to do, we have to just only open our eyes and try to find the meaning of the word. Now you give it a try. Baron was expeditious. When he left the school building, he ran through the halls, jumped in his car and sped off. 
expeditious what could be the meaning maybe this word could be new for you but do not worry about it try to find a hint of it and hint will lead you towards the real meaning of the words what does the expeditious mean here Did you figure out what types of details the writer is giving us about how Baron left his school? Baron was expeditious when he left the school building. He ran through the halls, jumped in his car, and sped off. How did Baron leave? The hint is there. Expeditious must mean fast. Let's see. Let's review what we have already learned. There are four main types of context clues. Number one, rewording the word, giving its synonyms, giving its antonyms, giving details about it. If you keep these ideas in your mind, we give you the guarantee you can easily understand what could be the meaning of the words? Let's do some exercises. I will request all of you to take out your register a paper, write the answer, and then afterwards we'll check it. Let's do the practice. Now it's your turn to follow the clues. The next few slides are sentences with context clues that you can hunt out on your own. Write down your answers as you go along. Number one. Mally's mom thoughts that the new outfit that she had bought for her was modish. Mallory did not want to break it to her, but it was totally out of style. Which type of context clues is being used here? What does the word modish mean in this sentence? I'll give you one minute to write the answer. Let's move to another sentence now. Number two sentence. Insomnia, not being able to sleep at night, can be linked to an excessive intake of caffeine throughout the day. Which type of context clue is being used here? What does the word insomnia mean in this sentence? I give you one minute. Right answer. Let's understand. Move to number three sentence. It says, The woman enjoyed the savour of the soup. It had a hint of spices balanced with the perfect amount of sweetness. Which type of context clue is being used here? What does the word savour mean in this sentence? Again, giving you one minute to think over it.
Let's move to number four sentence. The day had proven to be very torrid. Before the sun had even risen, it was already hot outside. Again, read the sentence. The day had proven to be very torrid. Before the sun had even risen, it was already hot outside. Which type of the context clue is being used here? What does the word torrid mean in this sentence? Again, one minute for you. Write the answer. Let's move to number five sentence. It's our custom that the bride and groom only wear the finest raiment on their wedding day. Again, read the sentence. It's our custom that the bride and the groom only wear the finest raiment on their wedding day. Which type of context clue is being used here? What does the word raiment mean in this sentence? Yes, viewers, write down the answer. And afterwards, you may write down the answer below the comment box. Let's move to rule number, I mean the sentence number six. It says, Though many types of birds fly in groups, eagles are birds of solitude. Which type of context clue is being used here? What does the word solitude mean in this sentence? Write down Round, write down the answer. Let's move to the sentence number seven. says a herbidestry which is a store that sells men's clothing is becoming more common today which type of context clue is being used here what does the word her herbidestry mean in this sentence write down the answer All viewers are requested to write down your answers with the number of the question below the box. I will just only write the answer. When your all answer will be written over there, I will give you the, uh, the key of it. The last sentence. So here, this is the last, this was the last sentence. So I will be waiting for your answers. We have done from one to seven sentences as a practice. You have to keep these skills in your mind and then do the practice of the reading comprehension. See you with the next topic in our next video. Till that, I would request you all of you to subscribe my channel share with your friends and like it thank you very much